the other captain. Fear United will shape up like this. Roger Williams is back between the sticks, was out for a while with injury. He's back. Javier Brown, the ever-present midfielder. Kimar Bickford, their leading goal scorer with five goals. He's in the lineup as well himself, and Javier Brown will do well. Donovan Clark, Damian Thomas, who comes in to the squad uh, from Malines. Damian Thomas, where he played last season. Strong Howe, the schoolboy from Central High. Nathaniel Howe. Jaheim Harris, Matt Ludford. Lorenzo Lewin comes back into the starting lineup, and as we said, our player to watch is Dean Andre Thomas. They will be playing with a 4 3 3 Ligier. Yeah, and you can see it here, their 4 3 3 is a formation they have stuck with for the entirety of the season. A lot of changes in midfield throughout. They're looking for the right combination, and Kemar Bushy Beckford operating from the left as opposed to down the middle to facilitate the entrance of Dean Andre Thomas into the starting lineup. Yeah, 4 3 3. Look out for Dean Andre Thomas leading the line. But yeah, Bushy Beckford has been in good form and quality. I think it's a big deal for Lorenzo Lewin to come back into that starting lineup as well, based on what he has brought to the team this season. Tivoli Gardens, well, no surprise, they'll be playing with their normal 3 4 3. Diego Houghton between the sticks instead of Nicholas Clark or Dean Pennycook, who has been in good goal scoring form before this season, hadn't scored in the Premier League. Now he has three goals. Barrington Price, who scored in this fixture last time out in the 2-1 loss. Anthony Nelson will be looking to get off the mark this season. Alton Lewis, he's been one of their best players this season. He wears the number 31. Where's with Jerome Waite back from Charlie Smith days in high school. Howard Morris, the creative midfielder. Justin Dunn, their leading goal scorer. Nathan Thomas, Shaquille Jones, Keno Simpson and Nikalia Fuller complete the start in 11. Yeah, a very fluid system for Tivoli Gardens, you know, it's going to line up initially as a 3-4-3, but expect to see a lot of players really popping in and out of certain zones and certain areas, a lot of man-marking jobs and defensive, on the defensive side of the ball especially, really interesting tactical lineup, and I think that has been confusing a fair number of teams this season. Good to see Vishenal Harris on the bench now. Full match highlights and Chivoli driving forward in their full way. Anthony Nelson with a really good opportunity, still looking to get off the mark this season. And wide of the upright, disappointing for the Chivoli number 11. They had the better play in the first 10 to 15 minutes, and this was another chance. Done into the area, went for the near post. Roger Williams equal to the task. This lofted to the back post. Barrington Price with the header. A triple save from Roger Williams and Howard Morris was under pressure but should have done better way over the crossbar looking for his fifth of the season not to be. Then a rare opportunity for Veer to get forward. Jaheim Harris has a good left foot but that was not his best strike and he dragged it wide. Into the second half now and Tivoli finally got their goal. Horatio Morgan off the bench as a substitute tight on the line as to whether it was him or Barrington Price. It was given to Horatio Morgan, his first of the season, Morgan, and Tivoli were away after just 59 minutes. Then this moment, Howard Morris, whose his touch had been off all game, found a pitch of a pass to pick out Horatio Morgan, and that was a brilliant finish from Tivoli's number six. Overhead kick. Williams at full stretch, couldn't get there. And Morgan with a brace. Tivoli 2-0 up at that point. And yeah. Wow. From Morgan. Then Veer United. Looking to get back into this. Not the best defensive effort here from Tivoli. Damian Thomas on the edge of the area. It would fall to Javier Brown, the captain. Off the crossbar. Onto the back of Shaquille Jones. Unfortunately for him. And into the back of the net. Own goal against Jones. But what a strike it was from Brown. And was inches away from being credited, credited with his fourth of the season. Veer right back in it at that point. Horatio Morgan, probably the easiest chance he got. This to complete his hat-trick. And he couldn't do it. Veer looking to get a point. Kemar Beckford, their most talented of goal scorers. Couldn't find a way past Diego Houghton. Tipping that over the bar. Beckford was looking for his sixth of the season. And then this moment, just how did they finish it? Javon Smith, so much good work on the wide side. And Strawn and company 
couldn't get it into the back of the net. Instead, it was Barrington Price to tow it over the bar. Very united, it wasn't to be. 2-1 Tivoli on the night. Seven on target from 10 attempts for Tivoli Gardens. Overall, they are certainly the better team going forward. Just one shot on target from nine attempts for Vera United. It was a busy day for Christopher Mason. He, shows, he showed six yellow cards and there were 26 fouls in it. Four corners for Tivoli Gardens. They had the majority of the possession and the majority of the goals as well. They live with a big three points. They win this one by two goals to one. Ligier Williams is with our man of the match, Horatio Morgan, with his first brace of the season. Yeah, Horatio Morgan, you came off of the bench and you made a huge impact immediately. It wasn't just the goals either, your overall play, but I'm sure that second goal in particular, you're extremely happy about it. Uh, yeah, definitely. I just want to give thanks for, for the victory. All is one of the points, but second goal, as you said, uh, uh, the critics, uh, I have a lot of critics saying that from the Akshik, uh, I've been scoring any goals. So um, this um, two goals that I scored today, I just want to shut up the critics that the second goal, for the, it was a replay from the Umbelian goal that I scored the first one. So just want to shut up the critics. Yeah, he came off of the bench. It was an excellent performance. And Tivoli, your team, you really changed the fortunes of them today. But your team is doing really well this season. What do you make of your team's chances going forward? Well... Definitely, we have an objective is to reach in the top six, and we are just aiming, um, going for that objective. And, and just to mention your personal game in particular, you've been coming off of the bench a lot, but you've been making impact even throughout last season as well. I'm sure your personal aim is to get into the starting level and cement a place there. Yeah, definitely, most definitely. Uh, as you said, I've been coming off the bench making impact, but I haven't finished any of the chance. But today, uh, hope for going forward, that can change. Yeah, That's going to two goals. And great win today for your team and excellent goals today for you as well. Yeah, Best of luck going forward. All right, thank you. Yeah, man. We'll now be hearing from...